me to a stranger Cause there'll be stories to unfold Tell me how can I love the stranger I said keep quiet And I'm talking to you and you are still talking What is wrong with you? Papa Zara, calm down Calm down, take it easy Papa, I'm tired of all this soon This thing is getting out of hand eh? What is getting out of hand? No, what nonsense are you talking about? Eh? Mama, talk to Papa because I'm sick and tired of all these marriage things here and there. Do you see? You that is telling me to count down. Are you listening to your daughter? I am telling her about Chijoke's interest in her. And she is here telling me nonsense. Are you are here telling me to calm down? I said I'm not interested in Chijoke. So who then are you interested in? Emeka came, you said no. Obina also came. And she declined. Madoka was so ready to pay anything just to marry you. You said he's not your kind of man. Eh? Even Okoro's son, who is the dream of every woman in this village, also came and she turned him down. Okay, now tell us. Who do you want? University. Yes, I'm interested in the university. I want to further my education. Hey, it's again. University. Eh, uh, do you have money? Eh, who will sponsor you? Wait, oh. hey, come. I hope you're not banking on the small, small change I make from this visa rice. Eh, you already know your father does not have a job. Hey, in the university. Mama Chizara, don't try to insult me. How did I insult you? Well, I'm telling the truth now. You don't have a job. Uh -uh. When was the last time you brought money for upkeep in this house? For some insult? That is enough. Now listen. I am tired of seeking for your opinion. Henceforth, any man who comes seeking for your honey marriage takes you as wife. And that is final. Nonsense. Mama. I have said it, I don't want to get married. Shut up. You better make up your mind. Because you must get married, whether you like it or not. Mm -hmm. Let me help you. Biko, don't help me. Have you thought about it? Yeah. Because if you did, you'll see it doesn't want it. Yeah. Giving up your happiness. Because you want to please another, yeah. What is going on here? Sister, you will not believe if I tell you. Who owns the car and this food items you're carrying? Sister, sister, you are the reason for the season. What are you talking about? Go inside and see for yourself. Please. Ah, uh -huh. yes. oh, here she is. Mm -hmm. I told you. <laughs> She's beautiful. I like what I see. Ah! <laughs> Are you just going to stand there? Won't you greet your future husband? Future husband? But Papa, I um his name is Jidenna. He's here for formal introduction. But Mama uh... and your traditional wedding date has been fixed. Hmm. Exactly. And it holds this weekend. Happy married life in advance, man. In advance, mom. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm such a lucky man. Mom. Not just lucky. You're the luckiest man on earth. Uh -huh. Exactly. You. Oh, look at that. Be beautiful girl. Like. I'm I'm what you are going to like. Her. I can't wait to see mm -hmm. my grandchild. I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, my in-laws. I will take very good care of her. By the time I'm done with her, her skin color will come out very well. Mm. I know. I trust you. <laughs> and that is why we are giving her to you. Mm -hmm. My daughter is a speck. Mm -hmm. Everyone wants her because she's the most beautiful girl in town. Mm -hmm. We are giving her to you because <laughs> we know you can actually take care of her. Exactly. <laughs> There's no beauty. See beauty. <laughs> and both of you will have beautiful babies. Exactly. And the exactly. best man is here. Yeah, I concur. I believe you. Best man just <laughs> <alive>. <laughs> <laughs> 
Sorry, she needs to keep his eyes inside. And again, too, she's shy. I hope you follow them here. No, 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 I understand. I understand. I know she's shy. Don't walk with her, bro. Ah, I'm a mess, I'm a wreck, I think I lost my mind mm. Every breath that I've been taking is like a wash on me Oh, I'll be fine, I'll be fine, I said to myself But every time I try to keep on hurting myself Help me, save me from myself oh, I'm not lonely yet, I feel so lonely Cause nobody, nobody understands me I'm in pain, I'm in chains, so don't lose me Cause nobody, nobody understands me I need someone who will help me to escape Cause I close my eyes and I still feel the pain Lord, I need you by my side Do you like what you see? You live alone in this house? Yes, of course I do. You've not been married before? No, I've not. Where are all these questions coming from? Because I don't understand why a rich man like you would settle for someone like me when there are graduates and working class ladies. My love, this is my choice. Do you have any problem with that? Yes! It's affecting me. I don't love you and I wasn't prepared for this marriage. It's too late now. Don't worry. As time goes by, you'll get to love me. But... Enough. Let me take you to our room. Our um. room? Yes, our room. You mean we are going to share the same room? I don't understand. Are we supposed to live in a different room? What do you think we are now? Flatmates? Okay, okay. Put aside the marriage rights. I mean, we barely know each other. We're more like strangers. And why don't you put aside that we barely know each other and consider the fact that we are now husband and wife? I can't do this. I can't. I can't. Don't worry. You will. Alright? Come on. Let me take it off. Oh, you're gonna like it. I'm not lonely, yet I feel so lonely. Cause nobody, nobody understands me. I'm in pain, I'm in chains, so don't lose me. Cause nobody, nobody understands me. I need someone who would help me to escape. Why are you touching me? Lord, I need you by my are you okay? Oh. What is wrong with you? I'm not comfortable with that. But you're my wife. I'm your husband. Are you even going to sleep in this? We just got married. And we only just met. And, and you expect me to be comfortable with you touching my body. Wait, are you saying that I can't make love to you? You can only make love when there is love. You and I know we don't love each other. Huh. 
This is our first night together and you're really getting on my nerves. What sort of nonsense is this? Are you a kid? She was in a cage, she wanna leave, but she could never leave. Hit her voice was silent. Don't you ever force a child to marry I will let you be tonight. But don't think you can play this with me. Alright? To make a choice of my own. Don't ever push me to a stranger. Cause that was always too unfold. Tell me how can I love a stranger? How can I live with a stranger? How can I love a stranger? How can I live with a stranger? You give me life and then you hold it back. Because you knew I never turned you down. You gave me life and then you hold it back. I never turn you down. Who was this? It's your food. My food? Is this dinner? Dinner? No, it's breakfast. Breakfast? Is this a joke or something? A joke? What you eat before going to work? But am I supposed to eat Eba before going to work? But there's nothing wrong in eating Eba before going to work. So where you came from, you eat Eba as breakfast? Yes. Oh, I see. This is not your father's house. Of all the food stocks in this house, it's ever you made for me for breakfast. I can see you are really worse than I thought. You prepared ever for me to eat and go to work. Don't you like this? Your body. I'm not ready for this. And who cares if you're ready or not? Because it doesn't seem you'll ever be ready. She's a lie down here. Lie down here, what? 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 If you don't give me this willingly, I will take it by force. So I, I will take it. Chisara, and you've refused me of touching you, and I can't take it anymore. I'm fed up. I'm fed up, Chisara. Just slip out. Don't even think of coming back to my house. I'm a mess. I'm a wreck. I think I lost my mind. Every breath that I've been taking is like a wash on me. Oh, I'll be fine, I'll be fine, I said to myself. But every time I try to keep on hurting myself, help me save me from myself. I'm not lonely, yet I feel so lonely 
Cause nobody, nobody understands me I'm in pain, I'm in chains, who's gonna lose me? Cause nobody, nobody understands me I need someone who will help me to escape Cause I close my eyes and I still feel the pain Lord, I need you by my side Lord, I need you by my side I'm not lonely at all, I feel so lonely Cause nobody, nobody understands me I'm in pain, I'm in chains, who's gonna lose me? Nobody, nobody understands me Please come in. Um, so, you are welcome to my domiciliary habitation. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. You're welcome. Please make yourself comfortable because you will be spending the night here. Do not be scared, okay? Um, I'm curious as to why your husband will lock you out by this time of the night. But not to worry, I'll let you rest. I know yeah, you're tired. I really need to rest. Okay, let me show you to the guest room. This way. Hi. Good morning. You're up already. Yeah, I shouldn't get comfortable like it's my house. I made food. Thank you, but I have to go. Oh, come on. I don't usually make food, but I made this because of you. You've done so much already. By allowing a total stranger to spend the night in your house, it's enough. Okay, yes, but it doesn't cost anything for you to just eat. Please. We didn't get to introduce ourselves last night. I'm Chizara. I'm Gozi. Of the house at that uncommonly hour of 
the night, and you're not even remorseful about it. I have every right to do whatever thing I want to do in my house. This is my house. Then you should have left me in my father's house. I, I don't want to be here anymore. Your father's house? That's trenches. Oh yes! I would rather be in that trenches than to be here in this house. I don't, I don't want to be married to you anymore. I want to leave. I don't want to be anymore. It's too late, my dear. I bought you. I bought you already. Can you go get a refund? I don't think that would be possible. Did you see the look on your father's face the day I brought that money? It looked like that man has been suffering all this while. Don't you talk about my father in such manner! How dare you speak to me now? Don't you dare raise your voice at me! You're in bread! You should wake up every morning, go down on your knees, and thank God for me giving you a better life! Instead, you deny me of your body! If you don't give me your body, tell me what can you offer me! Tell me! What else do you have to offer? And tell me! What else do you have to offer? Do you have to offer me? Tell me what else can you offer me? Because you wanna please another, yeah. yeah. She was in a cage, she, she wanna, wanna leave, leave, but she could never leave. And her voice was silent. Don't you ever force a child to marry him. Whatever reason it may be, you don't wanna trade her future for money. money. It's one more than gold. Cause if you love me, you will help me to make a choice of my own. My own. Don't ever push me to a stranger, stranger. cause there'll be stories to unfold. Tell me how can I love a stranger? How can I live with a stranger? How can I love a stranger? How can I live with a stranger? You gave me life and then you hold it back. Because you knew I never turned you down. You gave me life and then you hold it back. I can't believe this. Who still sells off a girl child? Who still forces a child into marriage in this generation? Yes, I understand that your parents need that money. But risking your happiness for it? That's ridiculous. I, I can't imagine spending the rest of my life with him. I don't want to go back there. I might just lose my mind. I might just lose myself. Um, just calm down, okay? I understand what you're going through. Being in a marriage and living under the same roof with a man you do not love is hell already. To think that he forces himself on you and maltreats you. What do you suggest I do? What? I don't want to go back there. I just want to disappear into thin air. I just want to go very far away from him. I, I, I don't want to go back there. Um, how about we do this? I take you out, get you clothes, cell phone, whatever it is that you need. And you can stay here until you figure out what you want. You want me to stay here? It's the least I can do to support you. Thank you. Hi. 
Hi. I made tea for breakfast. Okay, nice. You didn't have to. That was the least I could do. You're such a nice person. <laughs> Thank you. So tell me. Have you thought about something? Not yet. I don't want to go back to that man. So what do you intend to do? I don't know, but I'll figure it out. Can you please allow me to stay here for some time? Of course. I mean, you can stay as long as you want. Thank you. Welcome. What? <laughs> Why are you being so nice to me? <laughs> Let's just say it's because I'm a nice guy. I mean, who wouldn't be nice to a beautiful lady like you? <laughs> Come on, eat. Um, I, 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 was, I was just cleaning the room. I will have to come back later. Ah, oh no, it's fine. I was getting ready for your party, but I can't seem to decide on which of this outfit to wear. Can you help me choose? You want me to choose an outfit for you? I will go with whatever you choose. Um, I like this. I thought as much. <laughs> Thank you. Um, why don't you join me for the party? It's going to be fun. You want me to join you for the party? As what? <laughs> Maybe as my woman. Mm -hmm. So, stop the cleaning, okay? Go get dressed so we can go. You don't want to miss this party. It's going to be fun. Hmm? Go on, go on, hurry up. Alright, be right back. <laughs> His woman. Yes.
Babe. I can explain. Explain what exactly? The reason I've been I've been away from home. Ah. There won't be any need for that. It's fine. It's fine? Yes. What were you expecting? That will start raising my voice or hand on you. No. Oh. I've realized that's not the proper thing to do. Actually, I've been waiting for your return because I have a surprise for you. A surprise? Yes. For me? Yes. It's something you've always wanted. Okay, what is it? Just hold on. Okay. Let me go in and drop you. No, 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 no. There won't be any need for that. One second. Like I said, it's a surprise. Okay, surprise. And I would like to cover your eyes. What? No, what? Surprise, surprise. Okay. It is surprise, surprise. I understand, but trust me on this one. Very much you will love it. It's a surprise. Okay. I think we are good to go. Where are we headed? Just take it easy so you don't fall. Ever since sister got married, we have been enjoying you. Ah. Mm. Mm. My son, that is what we call enjoying the fruit of our labor. <laughs> eh? What did you say? I said fruit of our labor. And which labor are you talking about? Eh? No, now. Ah, why are you taking my glory? Everyone in this family knows that since you've been jobless. I've been the one laboring in this family. Taking care of everybody. Especially Cesaram. Ah. I say, I can be as jobless for as long as you know. I'm only the father of Cesaram. Will she have been in existence without me? Uh -huh. I didn't know it, it's that labor you're talking about. You can next time try to be specific. Mama, all labor and labor. Oh, thank you very much, my son. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but come to think of it, I think the bad price Uncle Jidena paid is something huge because you have been spending it and it doesn't seem like it's going to finish anytime soon. Oh, my son, <laughs> even though we finish spending the money, all I have to do is put a call through to my in-law and he will send us more money. <laughs> hmm. You need to see me. You need to see me in the market. How I raise my shoulders so high. <laughs> it's good to have a rich son-in-law. <laughs> Ah. Oh, well. Hey, my in-law. Oh, 
Get your filthy self out of my car! Why are we here? Hey, you said you have a surprise for me. Are you not surprised? My son. Answer me! Are you not? My son, what is it? I and mean, don't you dare call me your son, old man! Because I'm not your son! I am not! Okay, Nico. And, and listen. We can and I drove into this compound to marry your daughter. Some way I drove back to return her back to you people. Eh? Return what? Yes. Why? What happened? I don't want to marry again. Eh? My son. You didn't know. What is it? Talk to me. Let's talk. There is nothing to, to talk about. All right? And before you start to panic, I am not asking you to give me back the bride price. I touch you everything, including your useless daughter. Take her. I don't want her anymore. Eh? You didn't know. You just can't dump her like that. Both of you are married. I said I am not marrying a game. Is it my fault? Eh? Is it my fault? There's nothing we are talking about. I brought back your useless daughter and I don't want to see her Didn't anywhere know. around me again. Just. My I want to see her. I don't want to see her anywhere close to me again. Don't you ever come close to me. Don't you ever come close to me. Let me get set clear. If I see you anywhere close to me again, I'll punch your eyes. Biko, Biko, Biko. Oh, Biko. Agam, Agam, what's wrong? Nah, Biko, no. What's wrong? Nah, Biko. Devil is the liar. My lord, Biko. She's around. Mama. What did you do? Mama, I didn't do anything. I swear, I didn't. I, I was surprised. He, he said he wanted to show me a surprise. And then he brought me here. She's around. There is no smoke without fire. What exactly did you do? I didn't do anything, I swear, Mama. What did you do? I, 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 don't, I, don't, I didn't even know about this. I, I, so you didn't, you didn't do anything? I'm shocked as well. I'm surprised. Papa, I didn't. You didn't do anything? Sister. That man is our benefactor. Holy shut up. See what you have cost now. Mama, can I talk to you? No. Not even a word from you. You have succeeded in putting this family to shame. Right? And I hope you're not happy. Mama, please, can I at least explain what happened? Explain what? Explain what? What will your explanation do? Will this your explanation take you back to your husband's house? The same husband's house I never wanted to go. Oh, really? I see. Let me help you. Come, take your hands off my mm. Now that you're back to your father's house, where you've always wanted to be, hmm? let me see the man that will come for you to come back like you. Mama, shut up. Let me see who will marry you. Giving up your happiness because you wanna please another, yeah. yeah. She was in a cage, she, she wanna, wanna leave, leave, but she could never leave. Yet her voice was silent. Don't you ever force a child to marry whatever reason it She's is. Sarah. You don't wanna trade Oh my god! Oh my god! My, god. <laughs> my friend! How are you? Look at you, you look so beautiful. You too! Girl, where have you been? It's a long story. Um, yeah, because I was hearing some kind of rumors that you got married. And I was like, me, <laughs> my best friend got married. And I was like, it's impossible. I mean, how can my girlfriend got married and I will not be away? <laughs> I didn't believe all that, I swear. I was like, how? When? Where? To who? <laughs> that wasn't a rumor, Elena. No, don't worry. Let's sit. <laughs> sit. I'll let you know. Wait. You, you, you got married. 
The reason I said it's a roast. <laughs> Chizara, it's one of those your jokes, right? You're joking. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's not a joke. But I'm not married anymore. Yes. I feel left out. I, I think there, there's a lot to say. I don't know anything anymore. Between Mazi Akumbechi and Chief Okafo, who is richer? I have to give this girl to one of them because she can't just sit in my house just when her thoughts my story has changed. No, no, no. I can't suddenly become a poor man again. I think Chief Okafu is richer. But he already have seven wives. Let me give up to Akumaji instead. Have you thought about it? Yeah. Cause if you did, you'll see it doesn't work. Yeah. Mazi Akubechi. How is the family doing? <laughs> you see, I call to ask you if you are still very much interested in that my daughter. The one you told me you love now, that's my beautiful daughter. <laughs> She's still very much available. I call you to know if you are still very much interested. You are no longer interested? Why? You just got married to a new wife last month. Uh -huh, that was last month now. This is new month. She's even more beautiful now. In fact, when you see her, you will like her more. You are not interested. Just look at this man. Look at this man I'm trying to help. I don't blame him. It's not as if I'm trying to force my daughter on him. It's not as if he even deserves my daughter. Anyway, let me call Chipoka. You don't want to trade a future for money. It's one more than you. Chipoka, how are you doing? How is the family? How are your seven wives doing? I call to ask if you are still interested in that, my daughter. In fact, I want you to make her the, your number eight wife. She's more beautiful now than the last time. Uh -huh. She's very much available. Okay. You mean all that happened to you, Chizara? But Chizara, why? Why would you let your parents force you to get married to someone you barely know? Why would you do that? You talk as if you don't know my parents. Okay, tell me. What good has that done you now? Well, it's all over. <laughs> At least I'm back now. Okay. What about the other guy? Gozi. Mm-hmm. You like him? You like him! Stop. <laughs> it doesn't matter. After all the embarrassment I caused, <laughs> please come off it. What embarrassment? You both are adults. You've forgotten it happened at the time I was married. She's a... Whatever happened has happened. Well, I think you were not supposed to disappear the way you did. If you ask me, that guy likes you. I mean, he brought you in, spent all that money on you. What other assurance do you need? Listen, Alina. Right now, I should be focused on my education. I want to go to school. I mean, look at you. You're almost done with schools. And as for me, I haven't even seen the four walls of the university. I need to go to school. <sighs> my education matters a whole lot. You know, right here. Yeah. Chizara. Yes, Papa. Be prepared. 
Someone is coming to ask for your hand in marriage. What? You heard me. You are getting married. Mama, you and Papa should listen to yourselves as well. Eh? Can you ask me to get married to an old man? And who is asking you to get married to him? We are not asking you. We are ordering you. It's a command. And you don't have a choice. Mama, a man older than Papa. Hey. Oh. He's old. Oh. Hi. This is He's old. You got a young man. What did you do with him? No, tell me. Eh? Nothing. Whether you were returned home within three months. Mama, but you didn't bother to listen to my own story. To my own side of the story. Who cares about your own part of the story? Eh? What will your own part of the story be to the broken marriage? Tell me. Eh? Mama, it's fine. It's fine if you don't want to listen to me, but I don't want to be forced into a marriage. <laughs> anyway, like I said, hmm? whether you like it or not, getting married you don't have a say if for this one you don't have a say and that's fine now mama i don't want to get married I, I i want to focus on my life i want to go to school i want to have a better future i want to plan myself the way i want it not being an eight wife to, to, to an old man are you done are you done blabbing okay now listen Get ready. Because if your car is coming in two days, you don't have a choice. I'm a mess, I'm a wreck, I think I lost my mind. Mm -hmm. Every breath that I've been taking is like a washed on me. Oh. I'll be fine, I'll be fine. I'm coming to myself. But every time I try to keep on hurting myself. Zara. Help me save me from myself. I know you have a lot of questions to ask, and I will explain. Can I come in? Sure. I'm not lonely yet, I feel so lonely. Cause nobody, nobody understands me I'm in pain, I'm in chains So, so you went back to him and... Um, he didn't even allow me to step foot in his house He drove me to my parents' house and dumped me there What? Yes, and my parents did not even want to listen to me As a matter of fact, they are, they are trying to take me to another man For him to get married to me Another marriage? A man who has seven wives already. That's unbelievable! <sighs> Gozi, I couldn't get my mind off you. I didn't know how to face you after that night we spent together. The reason why I ran off and never bothered reaching out to you. Gozi, I love you. And I know you feel the same way for me. I want to be with you. I mean, I can't imagine myself getting married to another man. You make me feel so loved and special. You are all I want. Swear, both of you are my witnesses. If Cesar ever step her feet into this compound again, I will cut up those legs and roast them to ashes. Eh? Papa Cesar, are you the one saying this? 
your daughter is missing and this is what you have to say. You and I know that Chizara is in missing. She ran away from home. Okay, even if that is the case, at least we should be bothered about her safety. I don't care. Since she has the guts to run away from home, she should also have the guts to stay wherever she is. I wasn't joking when I said what I said. Just watch out and see what I will do. Papa Chizara, honestly, you just have to take it easy. Maybe we scared her away. Maybe it was all our fault. Maybe we should have listened to her. You will see what I mean. See, see, I, I just hope nothing that happened to my sister. Oh. Because if anything happens to her, eh, the both of you have to be blamed for it too. John. I'll save my own. Wow! Baby girl, this place is so beautiful. I mean, take a look at this. Oh my God. <laughs> you don't know how much peace hair brings to me. Girl, you don't need to say. Like, this is glow. Like, huh? <laughs> this goes here, guy. <laughs> it must be a very good one, trust me. Say that again, as if you know her is God sent to me. I mean, I can see that you are happy. And I'm happy too, you know. Um, oh, that. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. That's okay. Yeah, so let's cheers to happiness. Cheers to happiness. <laughs> More success. Yes, baby. Tell me, what does it do for a living? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I don't know. Why won't you know? Girl, I think. Meet Elena, my best friend. Elena, this is Gozi. Hi, Gozi. Hi. Nice. What was that for? Not to worry. I think he's in a bad mood. That's for you. But as for me, it's obvious Elena is not welcome here. No, you don't have to go. Quick one. Try and find out what your man does for a living. Take care. What was that? What was what? I introduced you to my friend and that was the best you could do. So what do you expect me to do? Prostrate or go down on my feet to greet her just because she's your friend? Chizara, so you have started bringing strangers into my home. Strangers? Elena is my friend. I mean my best friend. Not a stranger. Oh, so you think you can just bring anybody into my home just because I brought you in as a stranger? Is my house a guest house? I'm asking you. Because you, where are all this coming from? Let me warn you. Let this be the very first and the last time that you will bring a stranger into my house. Because you... Do not let it repeat itself again. Okay, okay. I'm, I'm so sorry about that. One more thing. I do not think it's ideal for both of us to share room. I don't want to hear 
anything. I do not care if she's the president's daughter. It's a simple instruction. Do not bring random strangers to my house. I don't want to see people I do not know in my house. Jose, can you listen to me? I do not want to listen. Bring your voice down, your shirt. I don't want people messing up my house. What are you afraid of? What am I afraid of? In my house, I am not afraid of anything. The last time I had to change my couch, my curtains and everything. Because they come to my house, they mess up the whole place, they steal my things. I'm a very neat and simple person. I'm a very private person. I don't like strangers. But Elena is not a stranger. She's family. She's not family. She's a stranger. I don't know her. Do not bring people to my house. And you don't want to see any stranger in my house. Don't you wait. Don't tell me that. Don't tell me to wait. You guys eating the food I made. Chizora, how dare you barge into my room like that? Cozy, hope is not what I think. I don't care what you think. How dare you barge into my room when I have a guest? Are you cheating on me? I think that question should be addressed to Gozi. Gozi, are you really cheating on me? Baby, I can explain, okay? Baby! So you're cheating on me, right? My love, you have nothing to worry about. She's just the girl that I decided to help. You know, her parents wanted to marry her off to an old man. And she wasn't comfortable with it, so she ran away. As a kind person that I am, I decided to help her by giving her a room to stay. But you can see that she's beginning to misuse the opportunity. She's beginning to act like I, I married her, but you know that you are the one for me. In that case, that lady is not worthy to remain in this house. Send her away. It's fine. You don't have to worry yourself, huh? Just enjoy the delicious meal and get ready for what is about to come. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure? Mm hmm. I was wondering if you're cheating on me. Nah. Come on here. Enjoy this delicious meal. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> oh my uh, oh hey. god. Mm. I'm a mess, I'm a wreck, I think I lost my mind. Every breath that I've been taking is like a waste on me. Oh. 
I'll be fine, I'll be fine, I said to myself But every time I try to keep on hurting myself Help me save me from myself Hello? Hi. Who are you? I'm Jennifer. How may I help you? I'm here to deliver a package to Gozi. Oh, really? Okay, I'll let him know. You're not going to lock me out here. No, don't worry, I know my way. What do you think you are anyway? Huh? I am. You think you can just walk into this house and, and, and walk back in just like that? I am talking to you. Where are you going to? You don't even buy into the house and you like. I'm asking you. Hey, stop. I just want to deliver your package and leave. Oh, come on now. You know you can't just deliver this package without giving me the other package, you know. Sorry to disappoint you, Gozi. But I won't grace your bed today if you don't tell me who that lady is. What lady are you talking about? The lady. The one that opened the door. Ah, uh -huh. oh, that girl? Is that the person you are referring to as a lady? She's an orphan. And your house is an orphanage, I guess. I needed a house girl, and I spoke to an agent, so they bought her. So she's just a house girl, nothing more. Nothing more. What were you thinking? Come on, Jenny. Why would you think I would stoop so low? I thought as much. <laughs> Sweet girl. Mm. Come here, I missed you. Stop, girl. <laughs> Come here. I'm telling you, bro, everything is all set. And your guy is good to go. I have packed my things. I bring the other ones. You understand? I don't need to start telling you everything. So, in about two days' time, I'll be leaving the country. <laughs> oh, man. Business has to be business. Your guy don't go. Yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> Uh, I'll call you back. I'm an orphan an agent brought to you because you needed a house help. So this is it. This is the reason you said we shouldn't share a room together. So you could bring your slots in and out of here. Young lady, I would need you to mind your mouth. I would not have you disrespect me. Bringing in women under my nose is the height of disrespect. This is my house. If you do not like it, you can use the door. Because I am your girlfriend! Since when? Since when did you become my girlfriend? When did I profess love to you? Yes, we had sex. It is because we were under the influence of alcohol. You disappeared and reappeared with your luggage. Were you thinking I was going to settle for a woman that was dumped by a man? Stopped me. Are you mad? 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 How dare you slap me? Try it next time and I will skin you alive. Everything is all 
That's it. Have you thought about it? Yeah. Everything. Uh, I'll be leaving for the airport in the next one hour. So you can come by 10.45 and pick the car from the airport. Yeah, okay. She was in a cage, she wanna leave, but she could never leave. And her voice was silent. Don't you ever force a child to marry You are leaving. Yes, I am leaving the country. I know I mean nothing to you and you couldn't even tell me that you're leaving. You're leaving the country, okay? Who are you leaving the house for? You're leaving me in this house. She's a... I am sorry for the way that I hit you so hard. I'm really sorry for my heart. Um, this house, the property is in it. You can have it as compensation, okay? I still have like seven months before the rent expires. Please take it. I'm sorry. Please. I'm sorry. getting me confused. What are you talking about? Gautier was at the airport today, right? Yes. <laughs> he was arrested. Arrested? How? For alleged drug trafficking. Shh, no, you must be kidding me. It's a lie! My Gossier? Yes. Arrested? Yes. How? <laughs> Drugs? No, no, just, just calm down. Girl, calm down. This is a lie, right? You're kidding me, right? Girl, calm down. 
Calm down. Okay. Relax. Huh? He made a scene at the airport. So a lot of people covered it on their phones. <coughs> and now it's all over the blogs and medias. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Chizara, Chizara. No, don't do this. Chizara. Chizara. What do I do? Chizara. Oh, my God. Chizara, Chizara. going to do now about what exactly the fact that Gauzier will soon be going to jail or the fact that I am pregnant for someone who is going to be in jail I mean everything what are you going to do about everything listen Elena my life is meaningless and has no direction. I don't even know what to do with myself anymore. My life is a mess. I don't even know from my left to my right anymore. What am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do with this pregnancy? You tell me. What am I supposed to do? It's okay. It's okay. You'll be fine, okay? I'm a mess, I'm a wreck. I think I lost my mind. Chisara, why are you doing this to yourself? Oh my god. Why? Give me that. Stop! Girl, I've told you to stop drinking. Why? Are you forgetting that you are pregnant? And drinking is not good for the baby. Who cares? Who cares about the baby when I don't have a life of my own? No money, no job, just a baby without a father. She's alright. You have to stop being hard on yourself. I mean, look at you, a pregnant woman. Okay, tell me. What does it change? I mean, drinking, what does it change? What am I supposed to do? What? Brace up. Girl, you need to brace up. And prepare yourself for what is to come. Okay? Jelena. What will it change? Can I... Can I ever figure out my life again? Stop. Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I? Girl, you'll be fine. Okay? Trust me! <laughs> <laughs> okay, guess what? I'll be fine. I'll go home, pick up a few of my things, and come and stay with you, pretty ass, okay? So you'll be fine. Is that okay by you? It's fine. It's fine. I'll be fine. Look at you, you're yeah. drunk. Wait, where are you going to? Lay back. 
今日4メスト
now and make yourself comfortable, okay? Um, I'll get you something to drink. Place. It's lovely, very lovely. beautiful. <laughs> Wait until you go upstairs. <laughs> nice one, eh? Yeah? Beautiful. What do you mean, what am I talking about? You know what I'm talking about. You have been seeing Richard for the past weeks now. You've not said anything about it. What do you want me to say? That you like him. Isn't it obvious? the best things life has to offer. Yeah, thank you so much. <laughs> best friend forever! <laughs> That's right. You know I love you, right? You know I love you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Just keep being happy for me, okay? I will. Mm -hmm. Okay, that reminds me. What's up for dinner? Likuli and Gary. Oh, there you go again. <laughs> there you go again. Can you get your ass into that kitchen right now? It's your turn, remember? We go together. Just to celebrate this. Okay. Happy this. Okay. <laughs> Let's do it. All right. Baby Richard. Mm. Um, I should come to your house. Hope there's no problem. Oh, all right. Let me freshen up then. I'll be on my way. <laughs> See you later. Bye. I don't know what to say. I don't even know how to say it. But firstly, I just want to say happy birthday, my queen. I know I've said it before, but I'll say it over and over again. That's because you're special. <laughs> you're unique. I love you so much. 
You know, I said to myself, so there is a special thing for you. What is the best thing that I can give to you? To make you smile. You know, to brighten up your day. I thought about it and I said, no, I don't know. I don't even know what to give to you. But then again, I said, let me just forget about it because I'm selfish. <laughs> I'm just joking. Babe, I want to give you myself. And on that note, I ask you, please marry me. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I love you. I love you more. <laughs> I hope you like the ring though. Yeah, it's very beautiful. Lena must be so happy to hear about yeah, this. Yeah, share the news with her. <laughs> banana is like... rod. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure anytime you're eating banana, you'll be having flashback. This is <laughs> very spoiled. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of competition is that one? You just let me enjoy it, but I enjoy what I'm doing. Come in! Ah! So it is true. So it is true. Who is she? Oh, my beautiful wife. Your beautiful wife, you said. So you got married without inviting me. Oh, sister, I am sorry. I, I was still going to tell you. When? When are you going to tell me? So now I am the witch, stopping your progress. I am the one that is destroying your success. That doesn't want you to grow. That is why you decided not to invite me to this marriage. No, 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 no. sister. You see. The truth is, my wife here didn't want us to allow it. She just wanted something small. You understand? I thought as much. I thought it must be her. I said it must be her. So, amongst everyone you are supposed not to invite, I was the one you chose. So, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're taking this thing too far. It's not, it's not the way I... It's not like that. Eh? If you even check this thing very well now, Seth, I have every reason not to even invite you. I know you're getting angry, but let's just tell ourselves the truth. How many times have I brought a girl to you? How many girls have I brought to you? But what do you do? You always turn them down, always looking for excuses. So I said to myself, if I continue like this, I'll just end up being the most popular single man in the world. So I made the move. Well, let's just say I'm trying to surprise you. Fine, it's a surprise, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. It's a surprise. Mm -hmm. And you? Wife. Whatever you call yourself. Have it at the back of your mind that you are not married yet. You can never be married to my brother. Yes. Oh. Stop what? Stop what? See, listen to me. You can never get married to my brother. But why am I alive? You cannot get married to him. I don't care whatever they've done on your head, your diary, whatever they've paid, you are not married. Period. What is the meaning of this? Huh? What's, what's bringing all this was? You want to know the meaning? The meaning is that I am not approved of this marriage and you cannot marry her. I will be the one to get you a wife when you are ready to marry. Never. I am married already. <laughs> you see? Look at that! You see that this girl doesn't even have manners! Oh. She is mannerless! Look at the way she walked out! Look at the way she was eating! I was talking and she was busy eating! Okay, she like she's angry! She wants to come here with you. She's eating like she's hungry. How? For fruit? Yes. Ah. She is poor! Can you just stop? See the way you are addressing someone you don't even know. 
I don't need to know her. Me looking at her, I know she's hungry, she's poor, she's a gold digger, she's here for your money and not for anything. Please just stop. Please stop. That's my wife. Let me tell you, it is high time you choose between us. It is that you choose me or you choose that thing you call a wife. I am upstairs. I'm sure she's just furious because I didn't invite her for the wedding. She called me a gold digger. She thinks I'm after your money, right? Who cares what she think? I mean, who cares about what she's thinking? Listen, she can think whatever she wants to think. It doesn't change anything. It doesn't even change what I feel for you, so I'm not bothered. Or maybe she's right. Take a look at you. And take a proper look at myself. We are not of the same caliber, you know. I'm not even a graduate. Then we can make you one. What did you say? You heard me. Listen, we can sort for admission for you in the university. I'll pay the bills. You want me to further my education? Yes. <laughs> thank you very much. Oh, thank me. I can do anything for you. As long as you're happy, I'm fine. I don't care what my auntie feels. What matters is I love you, and that's it. I Come. love you more. Come. It's all right. Because you know that already. Your marriage life is so sweet. Richard is the best man God has finally blessed me with. All oh, thanks to you, baby girl. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you told me. Okay. Let's say we're just doing it gradual. You know how it is in the beginning. Yeah. Who made you Richard's wife? Who approved your marriage with Richard? Go digger. You witch. You think you will come here and destroy my brother? It will not work for you. Sister. Brother. What's going on here? You are a disappointment to our family. Everybody is disappointed in you. What are you saying? What are you talking about? What am I not talking about? Are you supposed to marry this woman? The family wants a good woman. A woman that is befitting to your status. Yes. Then you end up with this. Sister, stop. Please, stop. 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 Don't, don't address my wife like that, please. Then, if you want me to stop, you have to stop this marriage. My auntie, why are you doing this? Why do you hate me so much? Why? Why are you making my life so uncomfortable in this house? Richard married me because he loves me. Why do you want to ruin everything we've worked so hard for? Why? So you have the guts to talk to me. You have to to me. So what's the meaning of this now? How do you know you talk when important people are talking? Is that talking to you? Warn her. Warn her. <laughs> if she doesn't live here alive, she will live with her cops. Shoot. Is 
that I am, I am just respecting you because... Just that um, Richard's sister is making life so unbearable for me in this house. She talks bad about me, saying so many negative things about me. Even how she doesn't even want her brother to still remain married with me. I get it, I understand. But my dear, you have done so well for me. You know, you've tried so much. Okay, you know what? At this moment, I think I really need to be left alone. Yes, I need to handle things the way I want to. Not to worry, I'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, if I can actually pass through the phase of um, Jidena, Gozi, this should be a small kiss. Hopefully, by God's grace, everything will be fine. <sighs> All right, now. To take care of yourself. Bye. If I don't love you, I'll get married to you. Well, maybe you... You after my money? <sighs> Listen, Richard. I have been through a lot already to think I would jeopardize my happiness for anything. I am not after your money. I, you are not the first rich man to get married to me and I wasn't happy. Yes. If I was happy in that marriage, and it was because of the money, I would have still remained with him. Okay. If you think your people are right about me being a gold digger, I can as well leave the gold for them to dig. Accident. My husband. Which hospital is that? Okay, I'll be on my way now.
It's all right, okay? I just want you to know one thing. I will always be here, no matter what. I am going nowhere. Just be okay for me, all right? You'll be fine, trust me. I love you. And I love you more. <laughs> Smile for me, okay? All right, let me get you water. Okay. Just coming back from the hospital, and guess what the doctor said? <sighs> that my husband cannot be able to walk again for the rest of his life. I don't even know what to do at this moment anymore. <sighs> yeah, he affected his spinal cord. It's all right, I can cope. You don't need to stress yourself coming over. I know what the situation you are in right now. Your mom needs you. So, okay now. Take care of yourself and everybody. I'll talk to you later. All right, thank you, bye. Who is there? I told you, and I knew it. Immediately I set my eyes on you. I knew you were demonic. I knew you were a witch. But it will not work for you. This time you came with accidents. But it will not work. Where's my brother? So. Me. 
I need someone who'd help me to escape Cause I close my eyes and I still feel the pain Lord, I need you by my side Lord, I need you by my side I'm not lonely at all, I feel so lonely Cause nobody, nobody understands me I'm in pains, I'm in chains, just gonna lose me Nobody, nobody understands me You think I don't know your plan? You think I don't know your plan in this house? You think I don't know your plan the accident? Now you want to poison my brother? It will not work for you. This girl is easy. She's a bitch. What are you talking about? What's this? This food is poison and you will not eat it. I am preparing something for you to eat inside here. And say I understand I am not a perfect person for your brother. But I am not evil. But you are not one Jay. Yes, you are no man, are you not? When will all this just end? Auntie, with all due respect, you know the funny thing is, you might actually be the one who is a gold digger here. Mm -hmm. Yes, because I don't see why you don't want your brother to get married. You don't want him to build a family. Or is it because you want to keep lavishing on you? What are you telling me that? Are you mad? What? Why are you pouring water? Imagine this! Hey! You have the guts, the effrontery to talk to me like that! Auntie, you're over. You're overstepping your bounds. I mean, this is too much. Were you not here when she was telling me, calling me a gold digger? Were you not here? What did you do about it? I respected you enough. You're overdoing this thing. Why would you pour my wife? They won her. I had to stop insulting me and not a meat. of this the I am that I am Father Lord I call upon you this hour Father Lord I commit my husband into your hands Father Lord I plead for your mercy I ask for your divine healing upon his legs oh Lord Father Lord please take absolute charge over his health you said in the book of Matthew 7 7 that if we ask we shall receive if we knock, the door shall be open for us, and if we seek, we shall find. Father Lord, I have never called you and you disappointed me. Father, please come and take absolute charge over this place. I intercede on his behalf, oh Lord, I beg you. Father, please make him to be able to walk again. Let your divine healing rest upon his life. Father, I know there is no miracle you cannot perform. Father, please come and take absolute charge. Father, please come and make him be able to walk again. Father, you said whatever thing we ask, we shall receive. If we knock, the door shall be opened for us. And if we seek, we shall find. Father, Lord, I am asking you because I know there is no one like you. Father, please come and do this for me and for the whole family, O oh Lord. Father, please do not allow our enemies to finally laugh at us, O oh Lord. Father, please, I beg you, come and take absolute charge. Come and straighten his legs, strengthen his bones, O oh Lord. Let there be a miracle in his life, O oh Lord. Let him be able to walk again. How you will do it, I don't know, but I beg of you, Lord, please. I know there's nothing you cannot do, Jesus. I beg you. Come and heal my husband for me. I beg you. I beg you to hold me. Please help us. Help me, Lord. I beg 
you. I don't have video record apart from you. Calm down and tell me what's what's going on. What's the dream about? I had a dream when they wanted to kill you. Hey, they were pushing you, pushing you. She said, "I'm here with her colleagues, her witchcraft coven colleagues. They were pushing. You. They wanted to push you into a hole." In fact, I even had them say that that, that they planned the accident that kept you on this wheelchair. They planned it. Their plan was to kill you. But their plan they want. That they are even angry that they will do anything they can to kill you finally. That was what they were saying when I heard them. Wow. But God did not allow it to work. What? And it will not work. It's not true. Yes. But uh, sister, which accident are you talking about? The same accident that I kept you on this wheelchair forever. That same accident I'm talking about. Okay. This one. Yes. Why are you stop, stop, will you stop that rubbish? What kind of accident are you talking about? Which accident are you talking about? This one? God. This one? But you are sitting there. That's right? you are but this one that did not happen. You know about this drama? Yes. What are you talking about? There was no accident. For your information, I did not have any accident. I am fine, I am strong, and I can walk. All this thing is just a mirage. It's a mere drama. I'm just acting. Yes. I can walk. You see all this rubbish lie that you 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 be, you be bringing to cause problem here, here and there. Now listen to me. I overheard you and Uncle Chibuzo when you were making that plan. I knew you wanted to do something very 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 fishy. But I said no. Let me test my wife. Let me test the love and find out if she really loves me. So I discussed with my friend who was supposed to be a doctor, and I, I, I planned everything. Now see for yourself. What dream are you talking about? Listen, sweetie. I am sorry. All right. You mean you can walk? Yes, I can walk. I'm sorry for everything, but I needed to prove a point. What do you have to say now? Huh? Now saw them in the coven. They now push me in the hole. Which hole? How deep is the hole? I'm sorry. It's okay. Thank you. The best thing you do is go up and sleep again and dream another dream. Thank you for vindicating me. So you, you, you can walk. Listen, I can walk. It's okay. Alright? I'm fine. I'm sorry for putting you through everything. Don't look at her again. Just look at me. I'm fine. Look at me. Yeah, I can see. I was just acting. I was just pretending. Thank I needed you. to prove a point Thank just to you. let them know that you were innocent. Thank you for vindicating me. Thank you so much. <sighs> at least now we know that you're not after my money, right? Yes. Got good news. Good news. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's actually the two of them. One is a good news, and the other one is a good news that looks like a bad news. Really? Mm -hmm. um, that means you have two news. Yes. Okay, I missed it. Okay. The good news is that I got a mail from the university. You got an admission. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I knew it. Ha. <laughs> That's good news, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> ah, congratulations. Thank you, baby. Yes. Uh, now to the bad news, right? Um, what is it? I'm pregnant. Is that the bad news? 
Huh? That's not bad news. Combination of the both of them. I mean, school and pregnancy. How do I combine it together? Hey, listen to me, babe. <laughs> I understand that's hard, alright? You know you've always wanted to further your education, right? Yes. And we can't get rid of our baby. Mm -hmm. I know it's hard, but you will scale through. All you need is just a very supportive man like myself. Right? Mm -hmm. So tell yourself we can do this. <laughs> we can do this. Look into my eyes and say we can do this. <laughs> we can do this. Come on, we can do this. <laughs> Congratulations, my love. I'm so happy. Same here. Sweetie, mm -hmm. guess what? <laughs> and what's that? I spoke to your dad and your mom. Okay. I shared the good news with them. Mm -hmm. Actually, for some time now, I've been making this plan. I want to send your family abroad. Really? <laughs> yes. That's so thoughtful of you. Mm -hmm. I didn't tell you because I wanted you to come like a surprise. And you got me on this one. Yes. <laughs> so now I'm telling you okay. because their visas are out. You don't mean it, for me? Oh, I'm serious. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited for them. Yeah. As I speak to you right now, I am very sure they are packing their bags. This is like a dream come true. <laughs> My mom has always wished for this. Really? The reason why she sent me off to the first man. Uh, I see. <laughs> <laughs> well, come to think of it, mm -hmm. what would I have done with Ari? Why this charm me with so much love and affection? You would have done nothing without me. <laughs> <laughs> I love you so much. I love you more. Thank you so much. Hello, Elena. Hi, baby girl. Hi, yeah, it's been a long time. Oh, my husband. Hmm. He has gone to work. <laughs> you again, this girl. Okay, I called to specially announce to you that my husband has prepared my parents' visas to abroad, of course. Mm -hmm. Yes, I was surprised when the news came and I couldn't even believe myself. And you know, this is what my mom has always wanted. Finally, she has got it. So let her go and enjoy the good life with my dad, my younger brother, everybody, and they'll be fine. And as for me, I'm comfortable here that I am. So when are you coming to visit? Oh, oh yeah, I forgot. Your mom needs you at this point. All right then. Take care of yourself. I'll call you later. <laughs> it's too light, just. I said I'll call you later. All right now, bye. <laughs> I'm a mess, I'm a wreck, I think I lost my mind mm. Every breath that I've been taking's like a wash on me Oh, I'll be fine, I'll be fine, I said to myself But every time I try to keep on hurting Myself, help me save me from myself. Oh, I'm not lonely, yet I feel so lonely. Cause nobody, nobody understands me. I'm in pain, I'm in chains, so don't lose me. Cause nobody, nobody understands me. 